Hey there, my name is Leanne from Kingdom Bloggers, and today I want to talk to you about starting a Bible study blog, right? So you may hear a lot about Christian bloggers, Christian blogging. So a Bible study blog is very specific to teaching um, and helping people understand biblical context. Whether you write actual Bible studies and put them in, in content form on your blog, um, or you use your Bible study blog to help teach others more about the application of scripture, either way, there is a need for your skill and your passion in the online world. You know, everybody's online right now, uh, the digital world, internet, you know, Facebook, social media, all these places, that is where everyone hangs out. And the Bible is very clear that we are to go out into the world and make disciples of all nations and share the gospel so that others can come to know Christ. You know, there's so many people out there who maybe have read the Bible, but they don't understand it. And that's why a Bible study blog is so important because you as a real person, not a person who's gone to seminary and speaks more in a sermon kind of way, because let's be honest, a lot of times when our, our pastor or preacher on Sundays is preaching a sermon and telling about Bible verses, we don't always understand and exactly what's what, what we're supposed to take from it. And if you just sit down and read the Bible, well, you know, it's still a little difficult unless you have a really good life application study Bible. So as a real person who is following God, you know, reading the Bible, trying to stick to godly principles, but applying it to your own life in your own season, whether you're a young mom, maybe you're older, maybe you've gone through a season um, of mental health issues or, or just chronic health issues, or maybe you've, you know, experienced loss or addiction or any of these things. How has the Bible helped you? How have you taken those specific verses of scripture and learned to, to meditate on them to find the peace that you need to keep moving forward? You can take that and turn it into your testimony that can then help others. So Bible study blogging is definitely something that you want to consider. If you have a passion for teaching others about the Bible, like really, you know, if someone asks you a question about the Bible, you're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yes. Look, like, here's what it means, right? You love leading women's Bible studies. Uh, maybe you love writing Bible studies, maybe you're a Sunday school teacher or a ministry leader at your church, take that skill, take that knowledge, take that passion, turn it into something that the entire world can have access to. So you're helping people beyond the walls of your physical church or wherever you serve. So I have plenty of tutorials on my website about how to get started as a Christian blogger, which of course, Bible study blogging falls into that as well. Um, my Jesus online course, which is listed below in the, com um, the comment section, uh, helps you literally from start to finish set up a blog, a website on WordPress. And then I have a Facebook group where you can get lots of hands-on information. Like you can ask me questions directly. We do live Zoom calls and so forth so that I can help you take what you know and what you have a passion for and use it for God's glory across the planet. I mean, like, honestly, the internet is so amazing because no longer do we have to take expensive missionary trips across the the water across the oceans to, you know, minister to people. All we have to do is sit here in our homes, even on the couch with a laptop, and we can share the message of Jesus Christ across the planet, y'all. So if you have any questions, please drop your comments below. Definitely join my Facebook group. I would love to meet you. I would love to help you get started on this journey. And if you have any, any, any questions at all, please just ask. All right, everyone, God bless and have a wonderful day.